To mark colorectal cancer awareness month, we've made this video to give you a bit more information on the signs, symptoms, and some of the advancements being made in the field of colorectal cancer. To start off, let's take a look at the colon. Colorectal cancer is a cancer that starts in the colon or the rectum. The majority of colorectal cancers begin as a growth called a polyp on the inner lining of the colon or rectum. It is important to note that not all polyps develop into cancer, and even if they do, it can take years for them to become cancerous. Therefore, regular colorectal cancer screening is one of the most powerful weapons against colorectal cancer. With regular screening, doctors can locate and remove polyps before they become cancerous. Some of the symptoms of colorectal cancer include blood in the stools without other pile symptoms, a change in the bowel habit lasting four to six weeks or more, unexplained weight loss, extreme tiredness for no obvious reason, or a pain or lump in your stomach area. All of these symptoms can be caused by much less serious conditions. Therefore, the most important thing to do is to know what's normal for you so you can notice any changes. Colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer in men and second in women worldwide. Globally, there are 1,361,000 cases of colorectal cancer annually and 694,000 people die as a result of the disease. Taking a close look, in 2018, it is estimated that in the US there will be approximately 140,000 new cases of colorectal cancer and roughly 50,000 deaths as a result. The highest estimated incident rates are in Australia and New Zealand and the lowest are in West Africa. So what advancements have we seen in the field of colorectal cancer? First up, there have been great advancements in genetic profiling of the disease particularly in the molecular characterization of the tumors. Another hot topic is emerging surgical approaches for colorectal cancer. These include the use of hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy and the use of robotics during surgery, which has been associated with lower post-operative bleeding and lower incisional pain. Immunotherapy has revolutionized oncology and colorectal cancer is no different. There are currently six approved immunotherapies for colorectal cancer. These include Chiramza, Avastin, the two monoclonal antibodies, Erbitux and Vectabix, and Keytruda and Optivo. On a related note, vaccines have also proved promising. However, there are several challenges associated with vaccines. These include the cost, the development of resistance, and the heterogeneity of tumors. Last up, the microbiome has become an increasingly popular topic in colorectal cancer over the last few years with some studies indicating that the patient's individual microbiotic profile may influence how they respond to chemotherapy. This has been just a snippet of some of the advancements we've seen in colorectal cancer. To find out all the advancements, as well as where the field is heading, make sure to click the link below to read the full editorial. Also, make sure to like, follow, and join our LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook pages.